Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today is the 2nd of February and I thought I would do another arriving in Hong Kong airport vlog of today because I'll be flying from London Heathrow Terminal 3 via Cathay Pacific direct to Hong Kong for the next three weeks. Well technically I'm going to be in Singapore for three nights so Two, two weeks, two weeks in a bit. Um, but I always love doing these airport vlogs and they always seem to go down a treat. So hopefully you enjoyed this one as well. Lunch is served. I ended up going for a delivery order from my favorite poke place, Island Poke. And this is the classic ahi tuna bowl. So we've got some ahi tuna, some a seaweed salad, pineapple salsa, spring onions, crispy onions. And I drizzled over some sriracha and some soy sauce as well. It's absolutely glorious is one of my favorite favorite things to have in london i also have a ginger shot to have before i go for immunity health and now i'm eating a peach what an interesting arrival vlog mm. I need to grab my coat from my suitcase so I'm not cold on the plane and then I need to pack it back again in Hong Kong because Hong Kong's going to be about 20 degrees so ah, this is going to be my blankie but okay now I'm going to check in this bad boy and get through security finally through security just spent the past hour or so just going around all the shops trying to buy souvenirs so i am clutching <laughs> literally so many tea bags so the airport has been decorated for chinese new year and chai sun is in front of me right now there he is chai sun is right there in his uniform now i am looking for my flight i'm on the 450 to hong kong oh, i'm gate 36 it should be about 11 hour direct uh, plane journey from Cathay Pacific because the last time I flew to Hong Kong which was in the summertime I flew via Finnair so we had a stopover in Helsinki and it's been about a year because <laughs> I go there so often a year or so since I've flown direct with Cathay Pacific so I thought I'd do an updated video of the food of the experience let me know in the comments if you would like me to do more cantonese vlogs because the last time i did it was actually in hong kong over the summer and there has been quite a few requests to do more and if you haven't already i make travel food and lifestyle videos here so if you'd like to see more videos with me and your first time on this video make sure to subscribe for more <laughs> oh who's this who is this i'm literally just sending silly videos of double chins to ellie and it's so funny <laughs> So I'm trying not to wet myself while boarding. Thank you for raising the A2 7 flight. We're now calling for your customers. Hi. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. growing up and I still watch to this day and I cannot believe they've got a copy of this on the plane. I am beyond happy right now. This is the middle side. am back in London but it is nearly one o'clock here in the afternoon in Hong Kong and I've just arrived. Didn't really get to sleep because I saw Chibi Mariko Chan and Journey to the West on flight so obviously I freaked out and watched as much as I can um, but 
I'm so happy to be here. Like Hong Kong Airport has this specific smell that every time you land, I'm just full of joy. So, so happy to be back. I cannot wait to celebrate Chinese New Year. I can already hear the music playing and some of the decorations, so I can't wait to share that with you. But first, I need to collect my luggage and then check on my octopus card and make sure to see I've got enough money for the bus. But I just wanted to say, if you are new to this channel uh, or if this is the first video seeing of mine and you're a first time visitor of Hong Kong, I actually have a video all about uh, 18 things you should know before visiting Hong Kong. So I'll link that up there if you want to watch this after the vlog. Um, but it's a good insight into kind of must know things before you come and visit. Found it. Oh, so strong. I'm just at the Ad Valley machine, so I'm gonna see if I have enough money. Ugh. I think that's enough money. One of the reasons why I love buses in Hong Kong is because they come with aircon, free Wi Fi, leather seat, and USB ports for you to charge your phone. So I'm sitting here charging up and enjoying the view. It's pretty warm out here, it's about 22 degrees at the moment, and I'm wearing quite a thick jumper because it's bloody cold in London. So um, it makes a nice change from the snow and the sleet and the rain. And there's a little gentle breeze in the air as well. So I am loving every minute of it so far. And yeah, I just feel so happy to be back. I can never get sick of this place. And ah, I'm just so happy. lunchtime at a place called Itacho Sushi and I've ordered one of my favorite sashimi rice bowls so it's this one here you order off a tablet and look at it the best way to fight jet lag is to uh, fight it with food but it's gonna be such a grand old feast in the next few days because it's leading up to Chinese New Year which by the way I keep saying Chinese New Year because I'm Chinese but I respectfully um, know that it's not just Chinese New Year a lot of other people celebrate it too oh that's that um, and it's called like Lunar New Year <gasps> So happy new year to everybody that celebrates the time. I don't mean to offend if I say Chinese New Year, it's just what um, it is personally to me. But it has arrived. So I'm going to show you more of it. So it's got the uni, the cucumber, salmon roe, salmon. And it looks so good. Also some abalone value with some uh, egg white, watercress and fish paste soup which was delicious, so full of flavour. And now after that, walk it off, I'm walking through my first ever flower market in China, it's called Han Fa Gai. And it's basically like a lunar new year market you go to for the new year to get all of your like windmills and decorations and flowers and just things to decorate your home with to bring in fortune and good luck for the coming year and I've never walked through this before. Here are all of the different types of flowers that you can get at the market and it comes in all different shapes and sizes. You've got bamboo, you've got some, I don't know what this is, you've got some lilies, some cherry blossoms, so so cool.
Suda Market, you can get a bunch of street food, which I'm so gutted about. I'm not that gutted because I had very good food today as well. But there was literally like the waft of street food. You can smell the flowers and it was such a good atmosphere. But now I'm just currently walking through the park and trying to walk off dinner, just breathing in some fresh, ish air and admiring all of the buildings and just the beauty of Hong Kong and just smiling I'm literally haven't stopped smiling since I've been back I just love being back so much and I love experiencing new things every time I'm back in Hong Kong I'm glad I got to share the flower market experience with you and a little snippet of what's to come for Chinese New Year with the food and the celebrations and I can't wait to share more of that with you tomorrow but hopefully I look a little bit more refreshed but I'm going to bid you farewell I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't already subscribe for more lifestyle travel and food videos from me and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Good night!